Uh, just want to thank you all for attending this week's uh, Thursday briefing. I'm meteorologist uh, Nick Lucchetti here at the Raleigh office, and I'll be taking you through the period covering today, May 30th, through next Wednesday, June 5th. Uh, so here's the upcoming weather pattern uh, this week for our area. Um, so uh, we have some really nice high pressure uh, that originated over Canada that is going to ease down into our area and eventually offshore through uh, the middle of next week. But uh, over the next couple of days, uh, we're, we're going to have some generally dry weather and, and some nice cool temperatures. And uh, actually, I mean, dew points are actually going to drop pretty low for this time of year. And um, uh, pretty pretty incredible weather for June 1st. Uh, we do, however, have today a very low chance for maybe a few showers in the uh, far northeast in the coastal plain um, as an upper level disturbance goes over. But um, uh, overall, though, we're not really expecting any lightning outside of a very isolated storm associated with that. But it should be really just maybe an isolated shower or two uh, later tonight um, into the evening period. Uh, but other than that, we're we're looking at some really nice dry uh, weather through um, at least through Saturday. Um, as we get into the uh, Sunday into uh, Wednesday time frame, you can see if, if you can see my cursor here in the lower left, uh, this is Sunday. That high will shift offshore, and we'll, we will start to um, transition to more southerly flow, and and we'll we'll see a warming trend into the middle of next week. And with that, um, uh, there there could be some um, each day, some sh uh, diurnal showers or thunderstorms, but it, for now, it's pretty low chances. Um, so nothing, nothing too impactful or anything. But uh, as we trend into middle next week, it does look like we could see some afternoon showers and maybe a couple storms. Uh, and and here on the Sunday plot, Sunday and the Monday, Sunday night and the Monday, there could be a little bit of rain out um, in the western areas. But overall, um, most of that should be combined uh, into the Tennessee Valley, into the deep south. Um, but overall, it looks like low low chances for rain in that period. Just perhaps some diurnal, um, you know, summertime showers and thunderstorms in the afternoons. But overall, it should be nice uh, uh, into this weekend. Uh, so this is the uh, QPF accumulated precipitation forecast for uh, the same period. So you can see today uh, we're highlighting perhaps maybe some accumulating precip, uh, mostly to our east over the inner and outer banks. Um, but our, again, our far northeast, maybe Halifax County could see a little bit of measurable rain, but nothing um, more than upwards of a hundredth of an inch or so, maybe maybe a tenth, but um, that seems even overdone. And then you can see Friday and Saturday and, and most of Sunday look pretty dry. Um, and then as we get into Monday, uh, we are showing perhaps some splotches of isolated uh, rainfall amounts here low rainfall amounts again that's associated with those diurnal showers and thunderstorms but overall not looking like anything crazy any any soaking rain or anything like that so this is the uh eight day uh, severe thunderstorm potential courtesy of the uh, storm prediction center and you can see that in the upper left corner so that's for today thursday um they do have this area here in a in a general thunder um, so not expecting any severe thunderstorms, but there could be some isolated lightning. We're not too concerned with it, and it looks like if there is a threat, it'll be more to our east anyways. Uh, but I figured I'd highlight that because it is showing up here. But overall, it should not be uh, anything to worry about. And then as you can see, you know, the, 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 the eight days, of, or sorry, the seven days that follow, there's no threat for any severe thorn storms at this time. Uh, we always like to show these plots too. The Weather Prediction Center's excessive rainfall outlook um, and you can see that there is no, which makes sense because it's going to be dry. There's no threat for any uh, uh, flash flooding in the next couple of days. Uh, now shifting gears a little bit and looking more into the extended period. Um, this is the 8 to 14 day outlook courtesy of the Climate Prediction Center. On the left panel, we have the temperature outlook for the period June 6th through June 12th. And then on the right, we have the um, precipitation outlook for the same time period. And it looks like there, there, there perhaps is a signal um, for uh, um, uh, perhaps warmer than normal conditions in this period. Um, and then as we look into the uh, precip plot on the right here, um, it looks like there's pretty much near normal uh, rain is expected in this period. 
um, I just realized that uh, these these values here are incorrect. Um, so sorry about that, but it does look like there is a little bit of a um, uh, signal that it could be warmer than average in this period, but uh, rainfall chances look uh, to be near normal. And then lastly here, we, uh, I, I, we like to throw this in every Thursday. This is the uh, latest uh, drought update from the um, North Carolina Climate Office. And you can see that uh, overall, it looks like uh, North Carolina is largely, uh, doesn't really have any concerns about dry conditions, uh, except for the very far Northeast here. Um, and even that, if you look at the previous week's uh, uh, drought status uh, looks like some of that D0 uh, up in this area um, looks like they got upwards of three inches in the William Williamston area um, has really alleviated um, those dry conditions. So that's good. So overall, it looks like uh, the state is uh, void of um, drought conditions and abnormally dry conditions. Uh, we'd like to show this plot. This is our graphical hazard uh, weather outlook um, uh, matrix plot here. Uh, as you can see, there's really not much to be concerned about. Um, it is highlighting a limited chance for some lightning, um, which we touched on earlier as we get into the Sunday through Wednesday period as that high shifts offshore and we start getting a little bit warmer and uh, more humid conditions, we could see some afternoon showers and storms, none of which are expected to be severe at this time. Uh, it's also highlighting next Wednesday for excessive heat. Um, that's probably just picking up on our temperatures rising back to above normal and uh, you know, in increases in uh, humidity as well. But overall, uh, not too much to be concerned about in the next uh, week. So just a quick summary here. Um, again, today might be, or later tonight, I should say this evening, um, a few showers across the far Northeast coastal plain. Overall should be uh, not impactful whatsoever. Um, otherwise that high will shift down over us and we'll have dry to, um, unseasonably cool temperatures through Saturday. The high will shift offshore and then we'll start seeing uh, temperatures start to rise above normal as we approach the midweek uh, with perhaps some diurnal showers and thunderstorms each afternoon. And overall, there's no hazards or impacts. Um, so with that, uh, I'd like to thank you all for attending and I'm happy to take any questions.